Go on, email. I can't see what I'm doing here. All right. Well, I took my lighter apart. I've got a few. <laughs> and uh, I'm going to make some kind of, uh, I don't know what you call it, a sliding cart that I can slide up this ladder. Or I can put the uh, shingles on them down here and uh, pull them up there with using a pulley and then get up there and I think I can do this. Uh, picking them up and moving them is not going to be the hardest part. But, uh, getting them up there is going to be the hardest part and uh, this is the section I'm going to use. There's all kinds of videos on the internet about people building these. Of course, I'm going to do it my own way because uh, I have to build it according to what I have laying around, you know. And I'm only going to do this once. So uh, it's something I'll be able to take apart and use apart for something else. So let me get this in there. Oh, and I just thought I'd give you a little update on my dog, Lucy Bell. We left her at the vet this morning for two days. She's been having some terrible, terrible stomach problems and uh, throwing up constantly, throwing up 24-7. And, uh, that's not, you know, that's not normal or good. And it's not something I typically get over. And sure enough, she's got pancreatitis and a uh, bacterial infection. So we had to leave her at the vets for two days. And there's only been one other time we've had to leave a dog at the vets. And it's not a good feeling for the dog or us to not have our whole family together. Well, anyway, let me get, uh, started building. Or at least gathering some parts to see what I have. This is what that wind did the other day that came through here and tore up my shingles. I'd get up and cut that down, but first things first. Come on, hand, stop it. That's a big one there. Well, I've gone over my my parts inventory. I've checked in the parts room here. <laughs> and uh, while I don't have a, a pulley that will work up there, but the one that's on the ladder is too small, I do have uh, something I think I can make work if I grease it up real good and, and uh, smooth off the inside edges of that. So it needs to be about this wide and uh, I can weld some flanges on the outside of this to keep the, what I'm thinking about using is a boat winch, you know, with a strap and uh, doesn't need to be that wide, you know, three, four inches wide. So I uh, also have some bearings in that. I'm not sure if they're taper bearings. If they're not taper bearings, I might be able to use them. I, I forget which, which they are. And uh, here's what I've got for wood, scrap. I've got the old table that I used to weld on, which I was going to keep it for welding so I don't mess this up. But if I have to cannibalize that, I will. But I don't think I'll need to. I have uh, this is a table that I made out of the leftover siding for my shed. And I made this table to fit on my trailer, flipped over. Uh, for the uh, citywide yard sale we had a while back. So I'm going to take that apart and use that lumber. And I think I may have enough uh, siding to make this work. We'll see. Alrighty, let me get to uh, dismantling this and uh, maybe draw me a little sketch up on paper. Let me show you this pulley. Jeez. Yeah, that little plastic pulley is not going to be heavy enough to pull this up with. Plus, I really, I need something up here. Probably, probably right below this is where I'll mount this uh, uh, bearing that I'm working on. Alrighty, let me, let me take this apart and uh, draw me up an idea. Well, I had a... Uh, uh, a rudimentary sketch here.
you probably can't get into my head and see what I'm these uh are wheels right here oh I didn't show you I have these casters that uh probably going to leave them on this part but take this part off and uh, put a bolt through them and uh, just bolt them to the plywood so they'll roll up and down the ladder easier. I got four of them and uh, that's where they'll go. This will be the platform that I lay the shingles on. These will be two by fours with, with these things mount, with these wheels mounted in there and the ladder will be here and this will just slide up and down the ladder and uh, I've uh, just about made up my mind I'm going to go with a boat winch and I'm making some washers. You'll see. Let me get them cut out and weld it onto this. All right, I got that tacked together. Uh, I got a chamfer, chamfer the inside edges here. And uh, I think I'm going to use this with my uh, die grinder see how that works and then I don't know if you can see but there's this little ridge that all these pipes have I'm gonna see if I can polish that little ridge there out so this will uh, turn smooth on that all right let me get this cleaned up and then uh, get it mounted up there we'll be back all right, I got that cleaned up. Got that ridge buffed out of there. I think this will work. Now these wheels, what I'm gonna do is take a chisel and uh, I'm gonna knock a, I don't know what you'd call it. <laughs> I'm gonna knock a, a dent in this little thing that holds the bearings in. And then I'm gonna take it out of the vise, turn it upside down and get these bearings out of here. And then I'm gonna take my uh, Sawzall, cut down through there. But I can't do it with the bearings because the bearings are all hardened. So uh, I'm gonna get these, this notch cut in there and then the bearings out of it. There we go. back in the vise, get my saws all in there, cut it off. Oh. Wow, that's not good for the phone. Oh, golly. Are you okay? You're still recording. Oh, you can't do that too many times. Noise alert. in that box somewhere let me go dig it out all right there's that and there's that that's two I got two more to do just like that we're getting there get all my little pieces ready all right I got my holes drilled where I'm gonna want this pulley uh, I've got the inner part here that's gonna go I'm going to tap it in there, it's, you know, it's tight, and I'm going to tap it in there. I've got my threaded rod to go down through the center of everything. Of course, don't forget to put this on, Brad. I have to take it off again. This is going to go on that, so uh, let me get this set up and uh, threaded rod on there and tightened up, and I'll show you what I got.
I'm gonna uh, smear some grease on this, but not till I'm gonna use it because uh, otherwise it'll attract sawdust and get all over everything I'm doing. So here's what's gonna happen. Uh, down on that end of the ladder, probably about me standing height, uh, I'm gonna put a boat winch. I'll tell you the truth, I may buy me a Harbor Freight winch. They're cheap and I'll tell you, they're probably pretty close to the cost of a boat winch. I haven't decided yet and it doesn't really matter yet uh, because I'm going to build the uh, the trolley that's going to ride up on this and uh, it's going to, the cable or strap is going to go over the top of this and then down to the trolley and the trolley will sit about here and I'll lay my shingles on it and then hit my button or turn my crank and it'll pull it up and I can uh, get them up and spread them out on the roof. Alrighty, let's have a cup of coffee. Cup of coffee and my best, my best buddy. <laughs> He's wearing his, I call it his Charlie Brown sweater. <laughs> yeah. We're missing our Lucy Bell, that's for sure. He's been all around the yard looking for Lucy. And now he's sad. And I'm sad too. I bet you Lucy's just panicking and freaking out. She's never been never been without us. It's alright. We'll get her in a couple days. She'll be alright. Alright, drink my coffee and get back to work. Well, there's the basic idea. Show you what I got there. Okay. So now I have to build me a table that will fit right here with a little bit of a back so when I lay the shingles on, they won't uh, ride, they won't touch this. So that's the next thing I do is build a little uh, table and a package of shingles, a bundle of shingles is 36 inches long or wide. And uh, I want to be able to leave myself probably six inches on either end to grab a hold of them when they get up top. So I think I'm going to make my table oh, about, oh, about 28 inches wide should do it. That'll leave me enough to grab a hold of each end or get my arms up underneath them. And that's what I'm gonna do next, is build the table. Well, until I get a uh, winch, this is really as far as I can go. And uh, I'm almost decided that I'm just gonna use a, a boat winch, a hand-cranked boat winch, because uh, I only need to use this one time and I can get a boat winch at Harbor Freight for uh, 22 bucks. So, I don't think I can get all the way over there. It's way over in Shreveport. But I can get one at Walmart for like six or seven bucks more. And uh, Walmart's eight miles and Harbor Freight's about 50. <laughs> so uh, round trip, that'd be 100, 100 miles. And uh, I might just go to Walmart and grab one. We'll see what they have. Because that's, uh, that's the next thing, getting a... Uh, a winch mounted, oh, probably midway or so. And then I'm going to come off with like an A-frame. You know, mounted with bolts through here on either side. And then uh, a board in the middle of it. And that's where I'll mount the winch. Because it will have to be out. If, uh, if I use the boat winch, it will have to be away from the back side of this enough where I can crank it. So the handle will have to be far enough away from it. So let me uh, let me go uh, look at Walmart's website, see what they got for boat winches. See you in a bit. Well, there we go. I went ahead. Uh, I couldn't do anything else till I got this, so I went ahead. Uh, went over to Walmart, bought me one, and uh, stopped at Tractor Supply. Got me some Erector set. 
and uh, I put them little corner brackets around there so just just so it won't come off of it when I'm hoisting it up. I got some L brackets here to keep the shingles from rubbing against the ladder when I'm pulling it up. Uh, let's see, got a U-bolt. Yeah, I got a U-bolt right there. It's underneath there about midway. So uh, tomorrow I'm putting this on. I'll have this finished uh, well before lunch anyway. What I got to do is stand this up and uh, really get an eyeball on this. It's hard to figure what I need to do with this horizontal. So uh, I'm going to stand it up against my house and then visualize <laughs> what, I, what I need to do to make some brackets. Uh, I was worried that this handle was going to be too far out, but really from here to here is just like three and a half inches. So I only need to stand this away from the ladder this far plus my knuckles so uh you know if i go four and a half five inches away from the ladder that's gonna work i gotta figure out how i'm gonna mount this where uh it'll pull from this front side anyway i'll show you tomorrow i'll be thinking about this tonight can't wait to get back on this in the morning uh i'm uh, real close to having it done and this is gonna fit right in there See you in the morning. All right, I'm back at this. Uh, Lucy's still at the vet. Uh, she's gonna be there all day today and I'll be able to get her tomorrow afternoon. Boy, I sure do miss that dog. I know she's freaking out about her new new environment. She's probably in a cage, it just uh, breaks my heart. And these dogs, they're just, they just don't seem to be ate up over this like me and my wife are. Well, they're just going about life as normal. Strange, very strange. A little disconcerting, to tell you the truth. Well, I've got my, uh, I've got this, and uh, I've thought and thought and thought, and uh, I probably, uh, the hand, this is where the handle goes. And it's got a couple of flats. And I think what I'm going to do is get a collar that will thread on this. It's a, I can't tell if it's metric, and I don't have a thread gauge. Uh, this one fits kind of sloppy and loose, and this is a half-inch nut, and it fits kind of sloppy and loose. So what I'm going to do is get a half-inch collar. That's about a, oh about an inch long. I'm going to drill and tap that collar and put a set screw on either side of it, or I'll tighten onto these flats on both sides, and then I'm going to use a drill to turn this. That way I don't have to mount it so far away from the ladder. Uh, you know, I, it's, this is how it's going to be mounted like, like this. And, uh, I, w I was wrong about how much, uh, crank, how much crank I'll have to space. I'll have to leave for the crank. That's a lot of space. And, uh, I would have to really build a, uh, a tall, or a deep platform to put this on. And the further away you get from this, the more flimsy it's gonna be. So uh, if I use the drill method, I can mount it. Probably I just run a, a a plate from here to here. I'm not talking about right here. It's actually down there where it's, where it's going, but I'm just using this as an example. I screw a metal plate to these two rungs and then bolt the winch down to it. And then uh, from out that way, run a drill to to this collar, turn the drill, let it crank. So uh, back to town, and we're changing our dog's diet uh, pretty pretty drastically. So on the way to town, I'm going to drop off a whole bunch of dog food to the Webster Parish Humane Society, and uh, we're going to start feeding our dogs a little differently. We're going to make homemade food for them because... You know, we have a mini schnauzer and her breed is prone to pancreatitis and we have fed that dog, that's Sonny, the little black dog, uh, white chicken breast for her entire life. That's all she's ate is white chicken breast, peas, carrots, green beans, and uh, every once in a while we'll give them a little rice 
And we're gonna do that for all these dogs now. We're just gonna start making our own dog food. Low fat, uh, high protein. Actually, protein is part of the problem with uh, pancreatitis, but more than that, it's the fat that uh, makes their pancreas release a certain enzyme uh, in more quantities than they can use and it starts eating away at their pancreas. Uh, I'm no expert. It's just a little bit I've learned so far. It's pretty uh, pretty devastating disease for a dog if you can't get it under control. Uh, if you catch it early, you know, you can help them get through their life comfortably uh, or, you know, if you don't, they suffer terribly. Anyway, enough about that. Let me go to town get a Half inch uh, collar. We'll be back. Well, uh, I don't even know if I want to even say anything about it. Lucy's not doing good. And uh, they can't get her uh, whatever it is that indicates that her pancreas is not performing correctly. And she's in a lot of pain and the next step if she if they can't fix her the next step is renal failure which is kidney failure and that's a, a slow horrible death that they can't do anything about it's not positive it's not positive yet we still have hope and uh, we're gonna call this afternoon but uh, I'm of the mindset if if Lucy's going to die I want her to be here at home and uh, with both of us loving on her and I can do what I have to do my own self but I want her to die here if it's gonna happen oh, it's hard to do anything thinking about this I'm gonna cut a plate out for this and uh, I'm gonna I gotta trim this up with my plasma cutter and then I'm going to bolt it to the to two rungs. I really wanted a, a wider piece, but uh, this is all I all I can come up with out of my scrap over there. Uh, this will work. It's uh, about six inches wide, which uh, will be more than enough for this. All right, let me get back to doing stuff. All right, I've got my plate cut out. I've got this thing turned over. And uh, now I'm going to drill a couple holes here, all the way through here. I've got my holes for the uh, winch. Get these drilled, get them bolted on, I'll bolt the winch on, and then I'll take this thing outside, stand it up. And uh, I don't have any shingles, but I've got a couple of cinder blocks I'll put on there and see if I can raise and lower it. Let me get them holes, holes drilled. Well, there we go. I called this company that makes it to be sure that this part was available before I welded this on there, and it is. Let's get it outside, get a couple cinder blocks on it, and uh, see, see if it works. All right. All righty. Yeah, that'll work. Tell you what I'm gonna have to do those <laughs> corner brackets there I'm gonna have to take them off the top because uh, they're hitting the edge of the roof so I wouldn't think when I put them on but uh, it's almost to the top anyway so if I take them off move them down about midway it's all it's as high as it'll go anyway okay I just solved the problem and uh, this this is not unique there's a whole bunch of these on the internet this was not my own uh, you know it's my own design but I didn't think of this idea 
Thanks for watching, y'all.